Let's welcome in FS1 MLB insider JP Morosi. JP, the Pirates, they're in the hunt. They got their man. How did this all go down? Amber, this was not a trade I expected to happen three weeks ago or even three days ago, but this is probably the most impactful one any team has made here at the deadline this year. The Pirates, because of the recent surge that you mentioned, since July the 7th, the best record in baseball, they now see an opportunity to compete for a wild card spot or maybe even the division this year and for three more years with Archer. The big question fans may have around the game is, why are the Pirates all of a sudden going back into a win mode, it looks like, when they just traded Garrett Cole during the offseason? The answer is they've got two more years of control on Archer than they would have had on Garrett Cole. All right, and on the other side, the Rays are being applauded for the players they got back in exchange for Archer. Uh, what is so well liked about Tyler Glass now in Austin Meadows? Well, Meadows, Amber, he is one of the top position player prospects in the game, has been for a number of years, and as you see it there, he's already gotten in the major leagues and had some experience. Uh, but Neil Huntington, the Pirates GM, saying that they realized the Rays had to have Meadows in this deal, and he became a bit more expendable with the fact that Corey Dickerson is going to be back with the Pirates they expect next year as well. Tyler Glass now, a big-time arm from Hart High School in Newhall, California, actually the same high school as former Rays right-hander James Shields. He has done a much better job this year throwing strikes, which was a struggle for him in 2017. All right, good stuff as always, JP. Hold tight. We'll check back with you in just a bit to talk about Bryce Harper. I cannot wait to hear why he was not traded. I know Don Trell can't wait to hear that either on Tuesday. All right, let's go back to Archer for now. You know, he's under team control through 2021. He's owed somewhere around $24 million, and now he's in the rotation in Pittsburgh. Who do you think got the better of the deal here, Don Trell? Well, it depends where you're at, and the Pittsburgh Pirates are at that place right now, so I think they won the better of the deal. You put him with Tyon that puts a one-two punch that can go up against anybody's front line in the National League and win that ball game. As you talked about, his uh, contract's very, very friendly all the way to 2021, so that takes a lot of pressure off the organization, and it sends a message to not only your ball club, but your fan base that you're going to try to win now, and you believe in this ball club, and it's going to be a jolt. Watch when he gets on that mound. You're going to hear a lot of electricity in that stadium, and they can get rocking in Pittsburgh. You know, what's interesting is when we talk about trades, we're always saying who won, who lost, who got the better of the deal. You know, the, the perfect trade is one that benefits both teams. And I right. think when you look at this trade and you break it down, both teams got what they respectively needed. You know, they've got some young players in Tampa now, some big league ready guys, some guys that can, can make an impact. You know, Archer going to Pittsburgh – Look, it sends a message to the guys in the clubhouse, the fan base. It's not just about Chris Archer and his ability to pitch, his swing and miss stuff, but it's what the trade represents to the entire city, the organization. I think it's a win-win for both ball clubs. Bottom line, though, is do they get in the playoffs now that Chris Archer is there? Does that give them the push? Whew. That's a tough one They're right there, They're three and a half games out of the second wild card A lot of right things have to happen, the though. They have to leapfrog a lot of ball clubs. You see the teams that's going on in the West with the Colorados, even the Diamondbacks on the edge of it. So they're definitely going to have to start scoreboard watching right now, EK. But, uh, man, the back of that rotation is going to have to play well. They're not going to cover up. I don't know, EK. They, might, they could sneak in. They <laughs> so could sneak in. Yes, yes or no? No. No. I, no. I take a yes, though. I like. You I like, just say, I like, you, you I just like, like Chris Steel Archer. Yeah, I like, I like remember, Chris you guys Archer. haven't you loved the Atlanta Braves. They're in the mix. Maybe we knock them out. There's a way to get you in there, Pittsburgh. I'm rooting for you. 